Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a firewall zero hour news video slash analysis video. It's been a long time since I've gotten to say that out loud. I missed doing my firewall videos, you know, but finally we got some more juicy content to discuss. There was a live stream, a developer stream last night on the First Contact Entertainment YouTube channel done by none other than Firewall Frank himself, playing with a few of the lads from First Contact Entertainment. And of course, what they're showing off here is some more content. And immediately I can see right away, I'm not even playing the video yet, uh, they got a new contractor in there. I know that they've got a new weapon in there. They've got new attachments, or at least cosmetic attachments. They've got a new skill that they show off that has already seemed to kind of caused a lot of controversy. I know what it is. I haven't seen it in action yet. I want to do this live for the first, well not live, but you know what I mean, get my reaction live, you know what I mean. Uh, but it's interesting that it's immediately kind of caused like a, a, I would say a negative reaction from what I've seen in my Discord anyway. Uh, maybe in other areas people are more interested. But uh, anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else did we see. Yes, we saw the new weapon, a new customized ZS, I believe it's called. That's the MP5. Uh, we'll see that too, she's already got it equipped. Luna is the contractor name, by the way. And she is Italian, uh, for any Italian Firewall fans out there who might be interested to know that. But look, the proof is in the pudding. Enough talking for me, let's just get into it, let's just watch this. I'm not gonna, like, upload the full thing again, we're just gonna cut to the parts that are, you know, interesting. I'm, they're gonna be playing on the new map, which is Black Size. Uh, so we've already seen that, so I'm not gonna show off everything that we kind of seen already, but the interesting stuff we'll go into for sure. So let's begin. I've got the volume on, but it should be a little low. Fingers crossed. Let's go. So here's our first look at the end game model of Luna. In her picture here, she looks different to here, so I can only imagine that Frank has got her customized with face paint and a different color pattern for the camouflage and stuff like that. She does have, as you can see here, she does have that new ZS, the customized V, uh, sorry, the customized ZS. Uh, it has this interesting kind of, I think it's a foregrip, I'm not exactly sure. Again, gun nuts or fans of guns. Maybe gun nuts is insensitive, I don't know. People who like guns and know their shit about guns can maybe tell me what this is about. Is it just an extended grip? Is it, does that mean it's going to be more stable? Uh, is it somehow going to extend ex magazine capacity or something like that? I don't know. Let's just, let's just watch. So yeah, this is coming out on the 26th of June. So less than a week. So I read her biography and it's all about like being a hacker. So she's very kind of a hacky type character, which, you know, might remind you of someone like Proxy. And her skill is certainly spicy. I don't know what the name of the skill is. Um, maybe they reveal us. I haven't seen anyone name us, but uh, I've had it described to me. So this is our first proper look at the actual in-game model of this new ZS. As you can see, it looks pretty similar. I don't use the ZS very often, which is kind of annoying me here, because I'm like, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing the differences between the one that's in the game already and this one. Now, of course, there is the custom Mako ZS, but that's pretty much the exact same stats as the original one. It's just like purely cosmetic change. Whereas this one, I imagine, will shoot differently. It'll have to, it'll have to control differently. Otherwise, you know, there's no point in having it in the game. Uh, so whether it's more stable or it has an extended magazine or an increased rate of fire or something like that, or maybe it's just more powerful. Custom ZS. That's confirmation on the name. And right here, we're gonna. There it is. We can see our first look at a new red dot. So last season. We saw a bit of customization going on in terms of the hollow sites, uh, but that was purely the design of the reticule itself. Whereas here, we've got a red dot site here. The color has been changed to green. Does that mean we're gonna see different designs or is it just a color thing? We don't know just yet from what I can tell. Uh, I would imagine these will be, you know, operations, unlock the green dot sites, unlock the pink dot site, whatever. Uh, but really cool, I like the look of the green one. And I prefer the dot sites over the hollow sites overall anyway, so I'm really happy to see that they're giving them some love this season. Okay, so he's talking here about the new legendary, so that's the gun skin that you can unlock when you complete every single operation and spend 250,000. You don't get it until the last week as well, you gotta wait until week 8 before it can be unlocked. But he's heavily implying that this is what we're looking at here. And from what I can tell, uh, I've looked at this for a little bit. I thought it was an AK for a second, just by the shape of the magazine. I was like, what is, why is the AK getting another legendary skin? But obviously, uh, I'm a dumb bitch. 
and the barrel of course is way shorter or I don't even know if you call it the barrel I just think it's the barrel uh, I'm pretty confident this is the HZU so what we're looking at here is the legendary skin for a HZU which I think will make some people happy HZU is a pretty popular weapon and has some kind of a red design on us I wonder if that immediately makes me think of the contractor red so maybe it's red's legendary HZU or something like that so anyway let's keep going I don't know if you can hear that clearly, but uh, you can hear like helicopters and stuff buzzing around. So they've... I don't recall hearing that the first time they showed off this map. So I wonder if they've added more like ambient sound effects and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like this. Reminds me of the hangar map where you can hear like aircraft flying overhead. So this is our first look at this gun in action. And it has failed Frank. But he was distracted throwing that grenade. It's kind of hard to judge what's different about that compared to the normal ZS, especially when you don't use it like I don't, or rather, like I don't. If you can see the differences, other than phys like cosmetic differences, there we go. Now he's firing. Reload animation looks the same to me. He downed that guy pretty quick, but it's hard to know was he damaged already. But yeah, like I was saying, if any of you can like see a difference in this weapon in terms of function, uh, point it out in the comments, I'd love to know. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a trade-off. Like, it's not just going to be the same as the ZS, but buffed in every aspect. It's probably going to be better in one aspect, and then worse in another aspect. Otherwise, the ZS that's already in the game is completely worthless. Uh, so, I expect it's going to have at least one attribute, whether it's, you know, stability, range, something like that, that's going to be better than the uh, standard ZS and then something that'll be worse. I will say the recoil looked pretty pretty low there when he was laying into him on, on that corpse on the ground. Maybe it's a steadier, maybe that would explain the foregrip. Or, no, I keep calling it a foregrip. It's this strange design at the front of the gun, uh, which I'm calling a foregrip because I don't know what else it is. So he's, bringing, he's making a good point, like he's been crazy hype about us, which, you know, that's his job. But he's bringing up a good point, even though they're working on Solaris, and by the way, I'm going to work on a Solaris video as well, basically right after this. I'll upload them separately, although I don't want to mix them up. But he's making the good point here that even though Solaris is, you know, coming out in just a couple of months, at least on the Oculus, they're still supporting Firewall. Firewall hasn't been forgotten about, like maybe a lot of people were concerned that would happen. Uh, but look, it's been two years almost since this game came out, and we're still getting new maps, new contractors, skills, weapons, yada yada yada. Why we don't even know if this is the last season, there might be more after this. Fingers crossed there will be. But yeah, that's worth mentioning. Okay, so it is worth noting that this skill that he's about to use is only going to be any good if you're on the attacking team. So, automatically, that kind of halves the effectiveness of this skill. Uh, so keep that in mind. You're only going to be able to use this half the time because obviously you're only going to be attacking half the time. Nice. And the I've said this already when we show we saw the uh, the black sight map for the first time. But the lighting on this map and the like, just the natural lights that's kind of evening time, dusky. And then you got the artificial lights as well. They kind of they're blending together to make it like a really nice, soft lit map that just looks visually really appealing. It's probably my favorite lighting in any of the maps. So they're making a beeline straight for this laptop. That's because his skill has everything to do with the laptop. You need laptop access to use this skill. Now you can hear a bunch of jammers going off there and that is key to the skill because what he's going to do here, even though the laptop is, as you can see, it is jammed, red screen, this guy's skill, Luna's skill, is going to allow her to hack the laptop now this takes around eight seconds but as you can see when he filled up the circle when he completed the hack even though it's not a laptop hack but it is a different type of hack that reveals jammer locations so all of a sudden jammer outlines appear on the walls you got one down here at the front wheel you got another one at the back wheel over here and it's easy pickings now as you can see the red line has gone already it does not last very long 
Now, as I said, I've been told this information, I've seen it in the Discord, this is my first time seeing it in action, uh, but it's about an eight second hack to get this, and then these stay alive for maybe three seconds max. But I'm told you can do it more than once. Um, he's getting the one that's on the wall here. So that's three of them he's gotten. And yeah, he's able to do it multiple times. So this is the second time he's doing it. This is going to cost him an extra eight seconds. This is eight seconds where he'll be vulnerable and exposed. But he's being protected by good teammates, which is the ideal world. You'll have good teammates protecting you, but you know, we don't live in an ideal world. And uh, boom, there's the fourth one. And he found us. So, this is kind of a crazy skill. I know a few people, Decepticon, let's just let's just say Decepticon. Decepticon's whole game plan revolves, when he's on defense, his whole game plan revolves around hiding the jammer in such a way that uh, it's almost impossible to find us. Uh, unless you can get lucky with the grenade or whatever. This is, I would imagine, a reaction to that. Uh, people getting frustrated that they're being beaten by jammers, uh, especially like, you know, when there's multiple jammers. But predictably, there is backlash from, from the people who use the jammers a lot when they're on defense. They're saying all of a sudden, you know, what's the point in bringing jammers? But of course, there is risk to using that. It did take him eight seconds to do that. That's eight seconds he could have been shot in the head quite easily. As a defender, you could use, you know, this as bait, basically, you can make someone vulnerable, shoot them in the back while the back is turned. Now, very difficult to predict when somebody's going to bring that in their team, like who's going to equip this skill. I don't know what the skill is called, but yeah, in an instant like this, you hack for eight seconds, do a 360 to find all the red dots quickly within three seconds, and then you should be good to go. Now, if this is something you don't like the sound of, if you think this ruins like a valid strategy, if you think this is overpowered, I would let First Contact Entertainment know, and maybe they can balance it. Like, maybe 8 seconds isn't enough, maybe put it up to 10 seconds, 12 seconds, something like that, that might make us more fair, you know, might make it a lot more riskier to go for that laptop hack, unless you're the last person left alive, of course. But for sure, if you think this is something that needs balancing, and we'll find out for ourselves uh, sooner or later, uh, then you should let First Contact know, because, you know, they will change things. Uh, they have changed things in the past, but uh, I think it's fascinating that they would put a skill like this in. This lays into the kind of life of the game. Uh, this really has the potential to change the game. There it is. So he said, and it can be tuned. So, feedback is important on this one. I know there's already backlash, but I would say let's try it first before we shit in it, you know? Uh, I'm not particularly bothered by this because I don't bring jammers that much anyway, but if I was someone using jammers, I could see myself being annoyed by this because, you know, there has been many, many times when my team has won because of the jammer that Decepticon has put down and maybe if these guys had someone on their team that could do this, uh, that wouldn't have happened. Maybe. But it still is the risk of, you know, if I pick this skill, then I don't have heavy duty or I have to sacrifice bullet sponge or you have to sacrifice something to have this skill all of a sudden if this skill is out there maybe people stop using signal jammers or if you notice they are weren't using signal jammers that's when you equip it again so maybe it does help bring more variety maybe it's forcing people who use jammers to have put put a bit more spice in their playstyle if you know what i mean but we'll see three seconds eight seconds to initiate the fact that frank is saying don't worry it's not as op as you think kind of tells me that they were predicting the response that they're kind of getting from, well, I don't know what the general response is, I haven't even looked at their Discord yet, but just from people who watch my channel and they're saying, you know, this is kind of ruins jammers, blah, 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 etc. And I'm not blah, 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 I don't mean that in an insulting, like, you know, dismissive way. It's a valid point. But Frank is saying here is like, you know, this is taking eight seconds, that's eight seconds, your ass is completely exposed. If you turn away, the thing resets, so you, ha you have to wait the eight seconds, you have to be looking at the screen to do it. So maybe that is the balance, maybe that does, you know, make it better than it seems. Because in that example there, the enemies weren't attacking, they were sitting back, they were letting Frank show it off. We'll see if we can get more examples 
of them actually attacking. They clearly all just put their jammers there and they backed off, said let Frank do his thing, uh, let him show off the skill. Oh, the new skill, the back trace. So there you go, so if you buy the op pass, and op pass confirmed, new season confirmed, I guess that doesn't really need to be confirmed, we kind of expected it now, but her skill is called the back trace, which I did not know. Interesting, so there you go. Uh, it seems like Trevor was teasing different new colors that are coming to the red dots, or well, I should probably shouldn't say red dots, but the dot sites themselves. Probably not too surprising, but a variety of colors I would expect. Would expect probably the same selection as we got for the lasers. Pink, purple, green, blue. Hopefully we don't have to wait till like week 7 or something to get these uh, nice little dot site upgrades, or customization options I should say. See, he's saying, I think we're going to get a lot of feedback about that one. That's like very much they're expecting some pushback on this one because I think maybe it sounds worse than it is. Or maybe not, not worse is the word, but maybe it sounds more OP than it is. Um, it's hard to know. But just the fact that the same will get feedback and it can be tuned is like, okay, if it is as bad as some people think it is, then hopefully that can be addressed. Okay, so he's on attack this time, so he might. We might see the backtrace skill being used again. Yeah, it's jammed. Okay, so he's doing us. It's going to take him eight seconds. Now, my question is, while he's doing this, I wonder is there an alert that goes out to the other team saying somebody's hacking, you know, someone's backtracing the jam or some shit like that, you know, that gives you a heads up. Someone's at the laptop, go kill them. I think if that is there, uh, that could go a ways into, you know, making it a bit more balanced as well. So he's pinged one. Okay, Frank's dead, but he got to use his skill in time. Okay, so that's the end of the gameplay demo um, that they showed off for these this new update that's coming out. We still don't know the update name, but we've pretty much seen all the content it's going to have. Um, the big controversial thing here is the skill. Backtrace, uh, is this going to be OP? Is this going to ruin jammers? Is this going to be something that they're going to have to address like pretty rapidly? Or is there enough negatives? Is it worth picking this skill uh, rather than just taking an extra couple of seconds to check for jammers? I'm not convinced that it's OP. I'm not convinced that it's going to ruin jammers like some people are. But I can definitely see why someone might be concerned about that at least. I just want to see it in action. I want to know if when somebody is doing the backtrace, does the enemy team, or does your team I should say, get a warning? Uh, are you alerted? It's like, hey, somebody's hacking. That might give you a chance to, you know, basically get an easy kill. Uh, because it takes 8 seconds. Now of course if you're on the other side of the map it's not going to help you. But if you're close by, you can rush back to that laptop, lob a grenade in there or something, you know. And that could go a long way. But I want to hear everything that you guys think about all the new stuff we're seeing here. I want to know about the weapon too, especially if somebody can inform me on why this design on the custom ZS, uh, what like what what is that? What is the design on the front of it? Is it a foregrip? Is that just for stability or is it something else? Uh, I have to clue. So if somebody could let me know about that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. But of course, I want to know everything. I want to know what you think about this new skill. The contractor, you know, uh, the map, even though we've kind of already seen the map, uh, the legendary HCU, is that something you want? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this video, lads and ladies. Thank you very much for watching. But before I go, let me give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their generosity, their help in keeping this channel going, which I appreciate very much. And of course, let me give a special thank you to the top tier Patreon supporters, Tradition. Pete Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III, Chopped 517, and Mr. Crum himself. Thank you very much for that generosity. I do appreciate it. If you want to join on the Patreon, the link will be in the description below. But don't worry, if you don't want to do that, a like, subscribe, usual shite like that will be just fine. I make content all about PSVR. I do a little bit of flat stuff on the side as well, but basically this is a viewer focused channel in case you've not been here before, or rather PSVR focused channel. So if that's something that interests you, maybe stick around. One last thing, I want to thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all these videos. If you want to check him out, Again, links will be in the description below. Check him out, Decepticon.com. You'll find him on Spotify, Bandcamp, all the usual places. 
that is it for me thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one lads and ladies please stay moist